There are many gurus in this world. By world, I mean India. You won't find an Indian guru in Southampton or Basingstoke. Ah, 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 ah. Gurus are competitive with each other. Even at this age, where our coffins are crying for us to get in and drop six feet. We all want to get as many students to attend our classes and like us on Facebook and YouTube. I'm not desperate at this age, but please, like me. There is a love-hate relationship between the gurus. There is plenty of love to go around, but we hate each other more, so there's plenty of dirty looks to go around. I know many of the other gurus. Guru Yoga is very flexible at 80. He can certainly get his leg over, slowly. Guru Music sings a lot in his class. He secretly wants to be a pop star at 70. Guru Healer heals people's broken hearts. He has a violin player next to him. Very tragic for the broken hearts. And the violin player. Then there's Guru Laughter. Laughter is the best medicine after my DVD, which is available online. But I'm not a sellout. And finally there's Guru Meditation. I don't talk about him. I'm sure he's spying on my class, picking up tips. Anyway, my DVD is selling better than his. Let's meditate.